We noticed one day that time itself seemed to be accelerating. When we were kids, every weekend was endless. Every summer felt like a lifetime. Years were unimaginably long. But as we grew older, our lives felt like they were speeding up. The days, weeks, months, and years flickered by. Birthdays arrived between breaths. Seasons passed by in seconds. We no longer had the luxury of feeling like we had all the time in the world. It scared us. We decided we had to do something about it before our lives just slid past us and we were old and dead. So we made a project of it. To try to stretch time. Elongate it. Stop it from going by so fast. To slow it down. We tried pretty much everything. We meditated. We drank. We altered our consciousnesses. We explored the mind-body connection in great detail. We even brought ourselves to the verge of death, hoping for some last-minute revelation. But nothing worked. Out of our desperation grew the idea to build a machine. A machine that would slow down time, allowing us to linger infinitely in a moment, instead of letting it slip away forever. A machine that would take time and decelerate it. After careful research, we built prototypes. The results were at first unpredictable. They sometimes had strange and troubling side effects. But eventually we perfected a model. We called the machines decelerators. At the moment of activation, the decelerator would lock the user into that exact instant, ceasing the forward flow of time. We would each be able to choose a moment and stay in it forever, experiencing its sensations and emotions eternally. After tuning the machines to our unique temporal resonances, all that was left was to decide when to turn them on and decelerate. We couldn't remember who did it first, but one by one we started to activate our machines. Each decision was personal. Individually, we chose moments of peak happiness. Or tranquility. Or perfect contentment. The decisions were not always easy, though. And not all of us agreed on the ideal time to decelerate. But gradually, our numbers began to dwindle, as those who had already decelerated remained in the past, locked away from the normal flow of time. With friends and lovers disappearing, it became harder for those of us left behind to find that one perfectly happy moment. It became almost a race to decelerate, to not be the last, to not be left alone, still swept along in time's current. One by one, we all disappeared into the unattainable, locked away past. Until we were all gone, cycling endlessly through our own selfish heavens until until I was the only one left, the last one of us still moving relentlessly forward through time. My perfect moment was now out of reach, stuck in the past with everyone else. I was going to have to keep going forward alone until time itself decided to stop me.